Another change I've made with this machine is I added a shim to the spindle. And the reason I did that is I want to remove this chuck. So what I have to do is, is break, break it loose like this. And then I have to screw this up three or four turns, two turns, put the wrench back on there. And now it's loose and I can take it out. But what I did by adding a shim is I can do that in one process and it saves me putting the wrench back on there again. So there it is tight. There it is loose. Turn that up, put the wrench back on it and do that. Now also another thing I want to show you is to store my wrench, I put a magnet up here and, and the, the wrench just stays right there. And you can almost throw it at that magnet, it'll stay there. So that's another thing to do. So you don't lose the wrench as easy. Fix that is just add a little shim in the spindle. And I'll show you where that goes. Yeah. Bolt. But you'll have to check yours to see and, and do it by trial and error. And I'll show you how the to do it. The first one I made, and it's 106 thousandths thick. This is the one that works. It's 118 thousandths thick. So there's not much difference. But I'll show you why I changed it, and it's why it's very critical. So I'm going to show you how, where this goes and how to install it. This is a hollow cap nut here. I guess that's that's uh, adjustable size, and it unscrews very easily. And down in here, I think there's a thrust bearing. So when you turn that, it pushes against that thrust bearing and against this. So you just drop that shim on here and it takes up that extra space. Screw that cap nut back on. And tighten it, hopefully. And I have the spindle locked now with my fancy spindle lock. And now you'll see what difference that makes. So I'll put the uh, put the chuck back in there, and this works the same, of course, with your uh, collets also. But I'm using the chuck because it's easier to see. Okay, so I lock the spindle and tighten it. Okay, now that's tight. Now to loosen that, I just put the wrench on this way. Come one turn around, and that's loose now, and I can just unscrew it. In other words, you don't have to unscrew it and then use the wrench again. Or some people tap it with a hammer. That's not a good idea. But uh, it's, it's really good to have that tightens up in, a, in less than a turn. And it loosens in less than a turn. And it ejects the chuck in less than a turn. It, it ejected it right here. And I can just unscrew that and drop it right out of there. And it's just that simple, uh, simple washer that I added to there, and that's all there is to it. Now, the way you tell if your shim is too thick is you'll put your wrench on there, and you won't be able to turn it at all. It'll be jammed. So that's too tight. You want to just take off enough so you can turn that with ease, and it shouldn't bind at all. So that's, I just showed you it too tight, and I did that by putting both the shims on there. Now I'm going to go back to the one shim, and you'll see how it should be when it's right. That nut's tight, but this turns easily right there. It's loose, see? And that's tight. That's a little looseness, and then that's releasing the chuck. So there's only like a quarter, quarter of a turn. It's a big time saver. I don't know if, if, if uh, it really means as much as it does to me, but I don't like to tip, to tip the wrench on there twice. I'm kind of lazy and I just do it once. But this just allows me to do that in one, one movement instead of two or three, which you do have to tighten up there. But it's a quarter turn, put it back on there, come back another quarter turn and it's released and I can unscrew the check. I've also had a lot of people ask me about this machine, and I, I just can't say enough about it. I had uh, three milling machines before this, 
and this is by far better than anything that I had. It uh, has great features. The I like the belt drive because it'll slip. Actually, I should show you that. If, if you've got the pin locked here and you turn this uh, on, all it'll do is slip the belt. And you're not going to damage anything. If you have a geared one, I'm not sure what would happen, but uh, there's no problem with this one. If you happen to forget the pin, you just does nothing. Thank you for watching, and if you got something useful out of this, please subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up because that's what they grade us on. Thank you very much.